Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of our build challenge. Today we are working on a uh, carpenter's lot, which was kind of hard for me. This is also going to be a residential lot. I had a hard time with that tower. Because first I played it and it was, or played it, placed it and it was crooked, realized it was crooked, and then I had to make it much bigger than I intended both in width and height, just to get the same look as the reference photo. But I think it turned out okay. That's actually going to be the shop, so it's good that we have more floor space there. Because this is a corner lot, I do want to kind of incorporate more edge stuff as well, like I did in the blacksmith shop. I believe it's next to the potter. I don't remember. I've been using a lot of these shingles lately, especially for where it, when I have a reference photo and the shingles are crooked, that's as close as I can get. I pretty much went pure tutor on this one. It took me a minute to decide how I wanted to do it, but because that tower technically was solid, like this plaster, but I didn't really like it. I didn't like how it looked. So. I was annoyed with it. I tried a couple things, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. But I. Sorry for the jump. Um, I had my game crashed. <laughs> but all you missed was windows, doors, and drain paint. I was super duper annoyed, though. Because I'd actually gotten way further than this part. I had saved here. And then I added a whole bunch of decoration, and then my game crashed. And rather than focus on what I did before, because I hadn't really decorated, I just pulled out everything that I needed. I just started from scratch. Which is not super exciting to watch. One of the main things that I did want to focus on was just like making it look like it was a working yard. Like they, most of their carpentry and furniture building is probably done outside rather than in the residence or in the shop. And then they put up tarps or canvas or things like that if they had experience bad weather. But I just feel like you wouldn't want that in your living space, and you really couldn't have it in your shop. Maybe during the winter, the upper portion of the shop is kind of a functional workspace. You'll see I have that uh, functional bench that they can make toys off of, but it's a wooden bench, so. It's the woodworking. Uh, it replaces the toy bench. Hello, Sydney. Just grabbing lots of logs and wood and I didn't really know how to properly decorate this. Oh, and ev at every lot that has a corner space, I'm trying to use those as well. Richard, let's not be naughty. Let's not do it. I was having a hard time finding the like market stalls that I use. I don't know why I could not find it for the life of me. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Yeah, I guess it is late. But this is really the only time I can do voiceovers is when my neighbors are all asleep. Because they're loud and they stay up late. I'm like, why are you people like this? Then again, who knows what they think of me. My grocery orders consist of coffee and Ensure shakes and nothing else because I get HelloFresh. And recently I've been getting large quantities of Barbies delivered bleh, bleh, delivered to my house because I'm working on a project. <laughs> so who knows? I'm the weird cat lady. But I, I like being that person. No, I'm actually really excited about the project that I'm doing. It's based on Wheel of Time. In theory, it's going to be amazing. I might actually 
share a little bit of it with you if I end up doing fun stuff with it. It's not really Sims, but it's like live Sims. I've actually thought about doing Wheel of Time like cast videos for Sims 2 versus Sims 4 just to see how close I could get them to the original characters. I thought that could be fun. Because I love Wheel of Time and they're coming out with a show and I'm just like dying to see it. I'm obsessed. I went with these signs because it looks like they were cut out, not with a miter saw, but with something that would show that like it's made of wood and it's whoever lives here is a craftsperson. They're primarily going to build furniture, so that's what I'm going to sell in the lot. I will sell like the decorative like woods and stuff too, because in my mind that means that they are commissioning new furniture. And they can buy some, they can exchange that for something out of the catalog. And then again, putting up that banner to show that it is endorsed by the crown. I'm gonna have to go back and add that to any lots I haven't added it to that are commercial based. I did let them have the ridge tiles because again it's carved out of wood. And since I'm not in my Viking hood I can do what I want. I have two very upset cats right now who are like, um, where's our dinner? My fat cat's on a diet, so they only get fed a tiny amount of food three times a day. We're a little late for feeding number three. Yeah, I actually have more carpentry stuff than I thought that I did, which is nice. I do give him a cow, too, because I love that cow and I never get to use it. And yeah, this is me saving, so I'm like, oh, not losing it all again. Yeah, I got that little notice board type thing. I did decide to put those like it's an old fence that fell down. I just like including different decorative aspects that make the lots a little bit unique. Because otherwise it gets real boring real quick. Put all the tools outside. Obviously, he's going to need to get two of them. He or she. I don't know who lives here yet. Hello, Richard. I like that those counters because they look like a sawhorse. So yeah, I'm just kind of stacking lots of wood everywhere because clearly that's nothing says carpenter like piles of wood. Now it's just mostly fiddly bits. Getting everything where I want it, recoloring. I am gonna build a fence around the cow. Which I'm still delighted that I gotta use the cow. So yeah, this is me going, all right, I need to... Oh, I gave him a wagon too, but... I need to build out their backyard area. Since this is a residential space, I want to make sure that the Sims who live here can obviously take care of themselves. I love that cow. It's such a good cow. It's the best cow. The little gate to the cow. And then I just wanted to give them a little bit of a garden. I wanted to use those raised beds, but they don't work very well with like the vegetable stuff. So I end up yanking them out and putting those stumps instead, even though I'm not super thrilled with it. But it works, it's functional, it's, it's cute. And yeah, we're just about done. I'm just gonna do some terrain paint, put some plants in, and that is it. I didn't do any of the rooms because I ended up decorating quite a bit on the outside. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Anyone who subscribed or commented or liked, I genuinely do appreciate it. 
If you have any comments or suggestions, as always, feel free to leave them down below, and I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next one.